In this episode of Using Music in Your Classroom, I'm going to show you how easy it can be to play just one particular song. Because I'm a big fan of using a song to help students better manage transitions. Transitions, for the most part, break down in many classrooms because there's no framework to the transition. Although the students hear the teacher say, get your whiteboard, marker, and eraser, and meet me over in the corner for a lesson, how long does that actually take them to do all that? Kids being kids, they're going to dawdle and talk and goof around and do everything but get ready. And before too long, if they're not moving fast enough, the teacher's going to get frustrated and the words are going to start to flow. Hey, you guys need to pick up the pace. Let's go. Need you over here. I'm going to start counting. Five, four, three, and all that stuff that doesn't really work. So save your voice. Save your words. Play a song instead. Like Bill Nye the Science Guy. I love that song. Whenever my students heard that song, they knew exactly what was expected of them. They knew, come to the carpet. And they also knew how long they had to do that, about 29 seconds. And within two weeks, getting my students to the carpet in a timely, calm fashion was automatic. The only tricky part, though, was playing the song. Now, you could use the CD that comes with the big book. It's got a lot of great songs on it, and Bill Nye is on that CD. CD also comes with the book, Eight Great Ideas. But the problem with the CD is this. Number one, you have to find the right track, which is not that tough to do, but the really important thing is that you're there near the CD player to stop the song when it's over. Otherwise, the next song is going to kick in. So let me show you what I think is an easier way to go. It's a one-page PowerPoint show I created. Very easy to use, very easy to set up. You can download it directly from my website, and you'll have 12 songs just to click away. So the link is in the info box down below, or just go to my website. And what you're going to find is a link on the right-hand side called Music Central. Click on that. And then what you're going to find are a bunch of links on that page. And the one you're looking for is called Song Buttons. Click on that. And what you're going to find is the PowerPoint show, which you can download. Now, the bottom three songs all come from uh, online sources. The first one was a short chime that actually came from a ringtone website. Now, the other two actually come from freeplaymusic.com, which is just a great place to get short songs for free. And I'll show you all about that in another episode. The top nine buttons, songs from the CD. So if I want Bill Nye the Science Guy, I just click on that. And the great thing is, when the song's over, nothing else plays. And here's another tip to make it even easier. Change the text boxes under each button. Change it from the name of the song to what it actually represents your students are going to be doing. That'll make it easier to find the right one. Before we're done here, let's talk about what happens when a student doesn't comply to the transition properly. Someone didn't make it to the carpet in time after hearing Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, number one, keep yourself calm. Maybe look at the students who are ready to go and give them a little smile. Number two, turn to the student and call him over. And as he's coming towards you, just jot his name down as a reminder to hold him back when you release everyone else to do the production part of the lesson you just taught. And have a simple dialogue with him. Uh, young man, what didn't you get about the Bill Nye song? Yeah, what does the song mean? Come to the carpet, yes, but you didn't come to the carpet on time. Magic question, did you think I was kidding? There's no good answer to that question. Yes doesn't work, no doesn't work, and it reinforces you're serious without having to raise your voice. And then always give the student a chance to save face. What are you going to do the next time you hear that song? Oh, well, good. Come to the carpet. That's it. Besides, it's 29 seconds long. You could crawl to the carpet in 29 seconds. Now, that last bit of sarcasm was in her voice. I wouldn't have said that, but it felt like saying it. So I said it in my head. The student didn't hear it, but I sure did. Keeps me entertained. And one last thought, don't be surprised if students overreact at first to some of the songs you're going to try, especially if it's a fun song like Mission Impossible or SpongeBob SquarePants. Just be patient. The novelty will wear off. And before too long, that new song is suddenly a very familiar, comfortable song and is all a part of our happy, productive classroom. Hey, thanks for watching.